Hi right, guys, hope you're all well. Um, yeah, it's the weekend and typical. It's blown up. It was meant to be a ray fishing trip, but um, it looks like we're going to have to flip the script and maybe hit the rocks there and uh, go over the hard stuff and try and winkle out a few fish and keep out of harm's way. Um, but um, yeah, typical me. Last minute, no rotten bottom gear. Um, there's lots of things you can buy on the market as rotten bottom clips, but um, you can knock up a few things quite easily at home and uh, get yourself out there and amongst it. Now, tonight I'm going to be looking to punch a bait a long way on one rod and fishing in the hard for for big big girls on the other. Now, this one I want to I want to let I want to bang this out so it's on the clean sand. Um, it's just a standard pulley rig. But all I've done here is I've got two down and out clips. I've got one like it would be normally attached to your rig and one clipped inside the other upside down. Now, when that hits the water, that releases off the bottom clip and there's your rotten bottom. Like I say, this is going to be, this is intended to fish on the sand, but tide happens debris in the water happens and your legs can bump and swing round and roll round into the rough stuff. I want to be able to recover my rig. Hopefully, if that lead locks in, this will just ping out and uh, yeah, I'm away I go. Recovered the rig, happy days, hopefully with a fish on it. But like I say, I'm going to be going for big girls on the other rod and I'll just grab you what I use on there. It's up here, so here we are. Right, so this is your main line off your off your reel. It's like a 30 pound line. Um, on the main line, I've got a small swivel, size six, with a bead, and then a 1-0 swivel. Now off the small swivel, I've got my rotten bottom. Now the rotten bottom's got to be longer than the snood you're using, and there's reason for that, and I'll show you for why. Because down at the bottom, we've got a meat hook, your lead, and in there is a Z clip. Now, I think the Z clip was originally made by, uh, well, thought of by Steve Ace. And, uh, yeah, he certainly had uh, his thinking cap on when he'd uh, come up with this one. You can hit this as hard as you want with a massive bait on it. Because you're taking the, the, the actual cast on your main line like you would do and down your snood length and the beauty of this is it's a disposable clip it costs pennies to make and when that hits the water like so that clip will release and drop away it's a disposable clip so you're not worried about it too much and that leaves your rig fishing so your snoods are up there, your bot rotten bottoms there, and uh, if that locks up, break it out, lose your lead, and away you go. Again, hopefully with a fish on. Like I say, that's, that's got me out of jail today. Um, might serve you guys some use in the future. But I've got a little Z clip just there, and all it is, is just a piece of wire with a couple of bends in it. How simple can that be? I say, Steve Ace, top man. He really, really did uh, do a good job with this one. 